Today we are diving into 11 easter eggs you may have missed in the Mario RPG remake. These consist of references to other games, cameo character appearances, and Mario being a naughty boy. You cannot see some of these easter eggs if you progress too far in the game, so be careful. In this video I'm going to be showing you where and when to find these easter eggs so you don't miss a thing. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be showing you one that can't be considered an easter egg in the original, but is in the remake. This first easter egg is probably the easiest one to find. In Booster's Tower, about halfway up, you're going to find this pillar with a curtain on either side. Just walk behind it and out pops Mario in his 8-bit glory. Accompanied by the retro Mario Brothers music, you can move this pixelated plumber all over the room. But try to leave and uh-oh, the time's up music starts playing and you run back to the curtain to hear the game over music and you're back to your remastered body. The second easter egg is a cameo appearance from the Zelda universe. To activate this one, you'll first have to defeat Bowyer at the end of the forest maze. Once done, the people of Rosetown will be saved. Hooray! Now go to the inn and take yourself a tasty nap. When you wake up, resting beside you will be none other than the savior of Hyrule himself, Link. We move on to the third easter egg and another crossover, this time from the Metroid universe. This one can be missed and can only appear during one small section of the game. Right after you defeat Balome for the second time, do not go to Nimbus Land. If you've already been to Nimbus Land, you have lost your chance. After Balome's second downfall, head over to the Mushroom Kingdom. Go to the main castle and enter, then head to the room directly to your right. You will see a small flight of stairs and an even smaller toad standing right beside a door. He will say, Our guest is resting! Please be quiet! Head inside and in the bed you'll see Samus herself taking a little siesta. She's just resting up in her full suit of armor, mind you, preparing for her fight with Mother Brain. Speaking of Samus, that leads to our next easter egg. This is a toy box you will find at the top of Booster's castle, and you will see a doll of Samus tucked inside of it. Along with her, you will also see a toy of the mascot for the Famicom Disk System, Diskun, the red car from the Super Nintendo game Stunt Race FX, and after Booster removes the doll of Peach, you will see Rob the Robot. Coming in at number 5, we have an easter egg that you can get the moment you enter the Mushroom Kingdom for the first time. But it's best to wait until Peach has joined your party. Go into her room, and right beside the blue chair you will find some unknown item that Peach really doesn't want you to see. I wonder what that could be. Easter egg number 6 is in Cinder Toad's shop inside the volcano. Head to the back right corner of his little store, and you will see three model ships. The first one being recognizable as Star Fox's ship, and the other two are from the F-Zero series. The middle one being Captain Falcon's Blue Falcon, and on the right is Samurai Goro's Fire Stingray. Number 7 is an easy to miss cameo by none other than Luigi. This one is on Star Hill and is in the form of a wish. Go to each of the stars representing people's wishes, and eventually you will find this one reading, I want to help out my older brother Mario. Poor fella just wants to help and we left him behind. Easter eggs 8, 9, and 10 are all Final Fantasy Easter eggs, which makes sense because Square Enix collaborated with Nintendo to make this game originally. They need to represent. The first one is in the lobby of Booster's Tower. On the front desk you will see a figure of the Magitek armor from Final Fantasy VI. Next up, if you make it to the end of the first combat door in Bowser's Castle, towards the end of the game, you will encounter a fight with this Kamion Mimic chest. During the battle he will summon a dragon named Bahamut. This is a reoccurring antagonist in the Final Fantasy universe. He appeared in the first Final Fantasy game and has had many reoccurring appearances since. I linked a detailed article describing all of his appearances across all Final Fantasy games in the description below in case you're interested. And then of course, there's Kulex. You'll find him behind a locked door in Monstro Town. The way to unlocking this door is to head to Moleville. In an unmarked house to the top left of the town, you'll find a fella that will sell you fireworks. Buy them and head just outside to this little mole girl by these stack of boxes and trade her for a shiny stone. This shiny stone will be your key to open the door to Kulex, but be careful, he's a tough little rascal. You'll face him again after you beat the game, this time in all of his three dimensional glory. To fight him, you will first have to defeat all the revamped bosses that the game has to throw at you. These bosses are tough, but 
The second time with Kulex is damn near impossible. The 11th and final Easter egg is Peach's frying pan. Now I know you might be saying, that's not an Easter egg, that's just a weapon from the first game. Whoa, chill dude, I think this counts. But first, let me explain how to get it. After you've defeated the dragon and the Axum Rangers in the volcano, head over to Moleville and enter the shop. There will be a toad here. Buy or pass on the items he has for sale until he offers you a metal plate. Buy this and you will find it in your equipment as the frying pan. This is Peach's strongest weapon. The reason why I think this is an easter egg is because yes, it started in the first game, but since then it has become immortalized as one of her trademark weapons by being added to her character in Super Smash Bros. And if this is someone's first time playing Mario RPG, and if they played Super Smash Bros first, which technically was released before the remake, then it totally has become, retroactively, an Easter egg. That makes sense, right? Let me know in the comments down below. Also let me know if I've left anything out that you believe to be an Easter egg. But until next time, Keep on questing.